Thousands of students at Winthrop University in Rock Hill are now moving out of their dorms. Yes, last night Winthrop reported the first case on campus of COVID-19, but the order to clear the campus was actually set in motion even before that case was known. Our South Carolina reporter Greg Suskin met up with some students today who are frustrated. Uh, they're concerned about their classes and of course they're concerned about graduation. Well, just like at so many colleges and universities, this has all just changed so very quickly. Students here went to the university, came back from spring break, thinking they'd be starting online learning, but be able to stay in their dorms. And they found out last week, no, they've got to get out. We talked to students this morning who told me they got emails last night, giving them a specific time they could come back to their dorm and move out. They wanted to make sure everybody didn't show up at once to try to maintain social distancing. They were also told that only two people could help them. That's also to help reduce exposure risk. Now, the move out process started today and everybody's got to be out by Saturday. This did take on an extra sense of urgency when Winthrop announced last night the first case of COVID-19 here on campus. It was a student who came back to a dorm during spring break to pick up some belongings and of course those who were surrounding that student are now being uh, informed as well. I did speak to one senior graduating, supposed to graduate in May. She told me she feels like she's lost everything. It's really depressing. I don't blame anyone for it. It's just, it's, I lost a lot. I also talked to a few freshman students moving out of here today. They told me they were very accepting and certainly understanding of what the university is having to do, but never thought their college experience would be anything like this. Back to you.